ladies and gentlemen, we are here today at the Fanboy Expo 2023 here in Orlando, Florida. The event is held at the Hyatt Regency. There are so many different voice actors. They actually have Palpatine from Star Wars here. They have quite a few different um, popular characters. So we're gonna go inside today, see what Funko Pops and collectibles we can find and show you guys around the event to see what is inside. And as always guys, if you guys enjoy videos like this of me going to conventions, showing you guys a bunch of different Funko Pops, make sure to go ahead, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button. All right, so this is inside the High Regency Convention Center area. I'm guessing down there is where you go ahead, you check in. Um, this event does have a bunch of different panels, has a bunch of different signings, collectible vendors, so I'm super excited. All right, guys, so it's a little bit later in the day, but we're actually gonna go ahead and show you guys all of Fanboy Expo. We're gonna do a full walk around. So over here, they have all the merchandise that they sell at the event. You can get all the exclusive merchandise from Fanboy Expo right there. Then moving over to this side, they have a bunch of different, I believe like artist tables, artist booths. You can see the really cool display in the backgrounds of all their work. You got podcasts, again, a bunch of different stuff. And then I believe over on these ends, on this side over here, you can see there's panels and a lot of different stuff available. And then over here is where you actually enter the convention. So you see right there, Alpha Omega Services is advertised as the certification. They also have JSA over here. So this is where you saw the seven C's and um, Deccan Relics booth, but we're gonna continue to move on into the convention itself. All right, everyone, so we are moving over to the back. So the autographs are actually encasing everybody. There's have absolutely insane lines over there. I'm not gonna, so the one big aspect of Fanboy Expo this year is that they actually have like the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles over there. So a lot of people are enjoying that and like lining up for that. So Warwick Davis, you guys can see, is over on that corner right there this one's super popular but from indiana jones and um lord of the rings you have john riz davies here and you guys this line has been like this the entire day guys it has been super super packed earlier in the day they actually had on um, the actor of palpatine um you know palpatine himself um, from star wars so ian so pretty awesome and then over here we see some wrestlers as well and moving over here you see the original actor of a scorpion and sub-zero all right guys you know we had to check out pops and sons collectibles here we have our friend george opening up a pack of the one piece pillars of strength good ones are going to be in the bag we want shiny boys and that's it all right Not, not too bad, not too bad. Sanji. Sanji, all right, I, I, don't, I don't know, guys. <laughs> all right, guys, so here at the Pops and Sons Collectibles booth, they just got these new Universal Monsters uh, candy display. So, of course, they do come in the shape of the different Funko Pops. So, as you guys know, this is the mummy right here. Right here is the Frankenstein's monster or Frankenstein. And then here we have the Bride of Frankenstein. And they all come in these different colored candies. So we are going to be getting the set today um, from Pops and Sons. And of course, we're going to show you guys a closer look when we do get home. But these are absolutely amazing. And the fact that they do have them here, this is the first time I see them ever. I don't even remember them being announced. All right, guys, so I didn't notice this the last time. I'm not sure if he was here, but this is the B-Rabbit from 8 Mile. So if you guys are fans of Eminem, this is actually the only Eminem-based pop here that has ever been created. There is no way, guys. They here, they have the Freddy Funko as Hopper. This is really cool. So this is the first time I think I've seen it at a convention, and it's only 80 bucks. So it's actually a really good price for limited to 2,500 pieces. So the last convention, we show you guys right here this spider um, mini bag, but there's actually a matching purse with it. And you have this really cute um, candy corn lounge fly too that goes with it. They also now have the Hocus Pocus lounge flies to match along with all these Halloween spooky themed stuff. You have Stitch right here with the um, as the devil. So again, it's a lot of fun with these Halloween lounge flies. So it's cool that Pops and Suds actually goes ahead and brings out some of their like spooky Halloween stuff um, for this uh, occasion. And oh my God, this is Foster's Home and Imaginary Friends. That's super cool. I've never seen this lounge fly. And then here we got the Indiana Jones one as well. All right, so this is the Kingdom Collections booth. So there's actually a few figures that we have not seen. So we got a bunch of Avatar Last Airbender figures here in the front. Moving around, you got um, some Sonic and Super Mario stuff. This is actually some of the stuff that you could get signed. Again, Palpatine was here. Got Wicked as well, C-3PO. 
Um, and then over on this side, you see a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles stuff because, again, they do have the um, actors from the original movie. So it's pretty awesome. See a lot of the stickers as well. And then this is super cool. They have these Palpatine Vader shirts. So I absolutely love those. Those are awesome. And then moving here, they got a bunch of really cool signed grail pops. You guys see some of the Walking Dead stuff right there. Donald Duck WonderCon stickers, really cool. The Hercule with the, this was actually a seven bucks a pop um, limited series. Big Boy NFT. And then on this side as well, they have a lot of different cool pops, some Pez's as well. So yeah, they have a little bit of everything here, which is pretty awesome. So for one of your followers, we have a medium uh, Palpatine Vader 2024. All you have to do is be able to comment and um, you know, you guys choose on your channel who's gonna be the winner, but this is gonna be for one of your followers. And if they want one of these in their size, just go to palpatine2024.com and you can get any of your sizes, only 25 bucks, free shipping, straight to your house. All right, sounds good, everybody. So make sure to go ahead and comment and we'll be going ahead and giving this away. And again, we'll go ahead and put the link in the description of their campaign so you can go ahead and check it out yourself. All right, guys, so here at Fanboy Expo, they actually have the Give Kids the World Village. And as you can see here, they actually have a bunch of different items that you can go ahead and get. Again, Give Kids the World is a charity organization. They have a beautiful um, village there where a lot of families go in and get supported during, you know, those tough times. But again, a really, really nice setup here of collectibles that you can get. You have this little spin the wheel. So you play for five bucks and you get um, some prizes. Here right here is their banner and they actually have a bunch of different um sign autographs and prints and stuff and some cards too some wwe cards they also have a few um wwe wrestlers here at the event today so again it's really awesome what they do at for the orlando community and just around the world all right everyone we are here at the seven seas collectibles and deck and relics booth they actually are from the ocala mall video if you guys haven't seen that we'll link that up at the top but yeah, they actually are here at Fanboy Expo. And of course, if you guys have not seen um, this Bucala vlog, they always are gonna have some awesome sign Funko Pops right here. And honestly, my favorite is the trio of the killer clowns that are signed by the brothers that created it. So all three of them sign each individual pop. You also have over here, so Child's Play 2. And all these pops right here are certified. So you actually got down there, Christopher Lloyd from Doc with the Helmet. That's a beautiful Funko Pop. This is pretty nice. They actually have some Lorcana cards here. I have not seen them in person and they look absolutely beautiful. This artwork looks so good. They also have a bunch of different cards. They have a bunch of really cool pool bins if you want to go for them. And of course, they got some lounge flies as well, which is really nice. This beautiful Mr. Knight glow in the dark pop. We actually did get that one in not too long ago. They also have the Spider Gwen pop right there, which is really cool. So here we are at Ram Fam Collectibles. And what I absolutely love about this booth is they have such a strong presence of all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but they also have some really cool um, artwork venomized pops as well on this side but look at this beautiful display here guys they have all these really nice um figures just kind of hanging up they also have a lot of really cool mcfarlane um dc multiverse figures which are absolutely beautiful here you can see as well they got the batman ninja turtles these figures right here especially with the artwork in the front but of course they'll display the way he has them it has like the, the um everything shown in the front you can see all of the contents inside but of course they also have these really cool universal monsters and i'm seeing right here i didn't even know that they made this casey jones as the phantom you guys know i love my universal monsters so that's really cool to see here skg retro gaming they have all these um different game systems set up for people to go ahead and play the games they also have like kind of like they have their own product that they sell but it's cool that you can go ahead and plug this in with a uh, newer technology and yeah, definitely recommend you check them out. Um, it's cool that they have this displayed at the convention. But yeah, guys, I think it's about time we go ahead and show you around to go Funko Pop hunting. Of course, we are here at these conventions to see what Funko Pops we could find. You know, we all know that the Universal Monsters are the ones that we're looking for the most. So again, we're trying to get the minions as Universal Monsters and the Universal Monsters themselves. So let's go ahead and look around. Going into this booth right here, they have a bunch of different anime um, sculptures and figurines. But what I'm interested in is all the Funko Pops that they have available. So you got Giyu right there, the Pikachu, Zaz. Ooh, Russell right there, the Disney one. Hot Topic, Susa Sally. All right, guys, so over here, Flip NXT um, Victim. He's actually on Whatnot. And you guys can go ahead and get a free $15 in the link in the description if you sign up using my code. And you guys can go and check out his um, show because 
Look at all these awesome Funko Pops that they have on the wall, guys. You got Goonies over here. Down here, they have a bunch of different oversized Pops. This one's really cool. I might have to pick this one up. It's a Haunted Mansion Chase of Constance Hatchaway at 25 bucks. The Mayor Chase, we do have that one, but I have been looking for that one. So I might go ahead and see if we can work out a deal. But you guys see the Madame Leota, a lot of Disney stuff in here. You got Suno Box Hunter exclusive. I remember getting that a few back. But yeah, this is pretty nice. I like the Zombie Moon Knight Funko Shop exclusive. A lot of My Academia that I do need. This is really nice, but up there, guys, they have um, a bunch of uh, Freddy Funkos. And then over here, they have a ghost face uh, spinning around, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, over here, you guys see the OG Michael Jackson. This one right here is an absolute grail. They also have this Stan Lee Pop Toy Con 2016 exclusive. If you guys know, those Stan Lee Pops are insane. Bunch of signed figures here as well, but again check them out on whatnot guys all right everyone we're at the hunter point collectibles and i do want to show a lot of different funko pops really quickly in this booth because it's absolutely amazing they actually have a lot of different graded funko pops and rare grails here so you guys can see right there the yamato chase is absolutely beautiful a lot of signed pops down here but they actually have a lot of really cool like mid um tier pops inside that i do want to go ahead and show off so going inside their actual booth you guys can see that they have a bunch of different horror pops you got the chucky on the cart right there which is really nice you have some of the um course fried pops lydia deets as well and then something that i was really catching my eye is the charge creeper and that's a gamestop exclusive pop and this one that if you guys know i do need to i do love my jurassic park pops and this is actually the only jurassic park pop that i'm missing the velociraptor box lunch exclusive so that one's going for 75 bucks again a lot of cool different pops they have all the walking dead there really nice and then over here you can see some of the newer disney stuff older stuff too again it's all mixed in so you really have to go and look through stuff to hunt you got right down there disney parks you guys know i also love my disney park stuff and they got red right there but yeah a big variety of funko pops over here they also have some attack on titan pops guys right there sasha mika saw hot topic susu when they had their red stickers really nice that's pre-release a uh, luca chase i mean a lot of awesome pop zombie pearl jam i mean they got everything here it's super cool so here we are at the toy soccer booth this is honestly such a cool setup the collectibles surround all around you this is really nice and it's really set up um by, you know categories or different collectibles so you see the marvel legend series on this side you actually have some u2s here again a lot of teenage mutant ninja turtles for this event because they got them right there stranger things you guys know halloween horror nights has stranger things for so got probably a lot of people asking for those again i'm an absolute fan of these neca um figures right here with the boxes i think they're absolutely beautiful eventually i do want to get into those dungeons and dragons as well gargoyles so again a lot of really cool items and of course they have funko pops they have a lot of those previous exclusives funko pops but they also have a lot of different like my hair academia and um you got some pokemon there as well naruto so a lot of different collectibles and i really just enjoy the setup the thing i've noticed about fanboy expo is that they actually have a bunch of really cool like retro games or encased games from like old school stuff so ooh, this is really cool they have pokemon emerald version 9.6 that's actually really cool um game boy advance game that's graded and then guys mighty mike is the name of this booth right here but they actually have a bunch of different retro games from different um um consoles from years past they also have a bunch of different controllers as well so it's actually pretty interesting you know we are going for funko pops but to see all this cool unique stuff at the con is what it's all about retro swap shop and these are pretty cool they have of uh, some gamecube graded cards so we just saw the um pokemon emerald version graded you guys can see paper mario on the gamecube a lot of nintendo switch games one of my best things i just saw here was the dreamcast and they actually have the og box with it Dreamcast was one of the coolest consoles that had a lot of fun stuff. And then look, they have a different box for another Sega Dreamcast. So again, a lot of fun with that console I've had um, when I was younger with my uncle's Dreamcast. But oh my God, look at all the different PlayStation games they have. You guys see right there, Game Boy games as well, NES games. I mean, look at all this right here, guys. You guys see the um, Nintendo 64 games, a few of the PlayStation 3, Xbox, OG, Grand Theft Auto. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, so Flash GCT, again, they are a store in Sebring. If you guys have not seen it right there, that is the address. But look at all these awesome pops. These are all these crazy pops they're going to be adding into their collection. But we actually got brought in by these grails on the table right here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that right there, Red Skull. Tony Stark, the Toy-Con 2013, Holographic Darth Vader, Ochako Chase. Look at how amazing these girls are. LeBron James OG, Freddy Funko, 400 pieces. I mean, Toucan Sam, 1,000 pieces. This was a super controversial pop to get. 
Predator, Heisenberg, of course. But not only that, guys, they don't only just have grails. They have a lot of really cool, hard to find pops, like in general. So they got this Sugar Rocky right there, Chase, which is really nice. All right, so you guys know I have been looking around for the Universal Monsters. And of course, they don't have the Universal Monster one that I have, but they got Creature Mel. That one is in my collection. But again, we're trying to look for Mummy Stewart and Kevin Bride. Those are the ones we're on the lookout for. So September 29th, if you guys are local to Florida, they're gonna be doing a huge inventory upgrade. And you guys can actually go ahead and get a discount if you go to the store during that day when they add in all the pops. $100,000 of value, guys. Grails, mid-range pops, absolutely amazing pops. So go ahead and check them out. I didn't notice this, but they have the 10-inch Mickey Mouse. This is like the OG styles. And then the 10-inch Batman DC Universe. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys. So a local store here. Tons of pops. I actually want to go ahead and show you guys a few of their um, Grail NFT pops. And look at these halloween nft pops guys just sitting here absolutely beautiful um this is honestly a line that i wish i just i got into the nft pops because i really enjoy halloween it's my favorite holiday and then right on top of that you guys can see some of the rare stuff trick-or-treat sam um you got the creep so these are all at the fright night show that you can only get there i mean this is pretty insane and then look they got a bunch of chases this is like a chase wall right here the new shinzo that just came out 35 dollars for the chase by orona chase pennywise specialty exclusive wow this is really nice so just having all these chases lined up and honestly really good prices on these chases guys all right everyone we are in the ultra anime instinct spoof and this is really cool i absolutely love the jerseys that they have they're super creative every single jersey has like the name and a design on the background so you guys see right there the tag on the um shirts and the jerseys themselves ultra anime instincts pretty cool they also have um see some hats that you can wear bucket hats some chains and stuff and then um again some fun bag plushies that you can go ahead and look at this is like a full selection of all the jerseys that they have the suck nut right there is super cool asta i mean if you guys are a fan of anime you could definitely go ahead and check out um their instagram so again ultra anime instincts all right we're here idea loading and these really caught my eyes like i don't know if these are i don't think these are 3d printed these are super nice look at the detail on these the mandalorians right there bogaton the teenage mutant ninja turtles boba fett Kratos, these look super cool and high quality too but in that same booth i mean the loading booth you guys can see all of this is 3d printed and i genuinely did not know that i mean they do such a good job with the paint job so again the 3d printing job is really good but it's i think that it's the paint job that look at those skulls right there dragon ball z skulls right there the laughing batman i mean this is pretty insane and i'm guessing this is what it looks like when it comes like 3d printed but again the paint job is what makes it guys this is really really nice good quality 3d print work right here all right everyone we are at the little love and stitches booth and this is honestly such a cool unique booth i mean they have a lot of really nice mini figures here in the front they have a little crane machine which is a lot of fun but this is super cool they have a lot of crochets look at that grogu looks absolutely amazing that she um sold like kits where you can learn how to crochet so moving over here these are super cute they have different like intellectual properties so here you got a little freddy krueger got some power rangers some minions right here the mario brothers i mean these are super cool you got the princesses and disney characters as well oh my god a lot of different like horror characters these are fun these are super fun you got art the clown again and they probably make them in all different types of shapes and sizes but again look at these little like mushrooms are super adorable a lot of fun stuff available here we are at the trench coat and merchant and then you guys got their ig and all their info right there they also have ebay but it's really cool because they have this really nice majora's mask life-size replica and again they also have a bunch of different video games as you guys can see here some playstation discs over here you guys got a different cartridges from different um consoles ds games which is honestly becoming really popular people love ds all right guys so yeah this is really cool they got manhunt 2 graded a lot of cool playstation 2 games so i actually grew up on a playstation 2 which is absolutely awesome Ooh, they got a grudge i didn't even realize they had a grudge game on the wii that's that's pretty cool so you guys see a lot of playstation 2 you got some ps4 games ds games 3ds nintendo switch so they got everything then gamecube one of my favorites simpsons hit and run if i didn't have this one already i'd definitely be considered picking up because i had a lot of fun back on the um xbox days on that and just like that ladies and gentlemen we are done with the convention um it was a pretty good con a lot of cool funko pops still haven't found any of my in search of um it is pretty nice i did get those candy universal monsters so that's pretty fun um that three pack right there technically 
Um, so yeah, the event has a lot more to offer. They had like panels upstairs. I just, again, I come to conventions for the collectibles and the fun stuff. Um, but people do like panels. They had them upstairs. They had photo ops as well. But yeah, um, pretty fun. All right, guys. So we basically have not unpacked our con bag. We actually got some really cool Funko Pops to show you guys because we had our friend that went to HQ. He had some Funko Pops to give us. And on top of that, we bought a few little things. Again, it's really cool. We want to go ahead and show you guys. So let's go ahead and um, pack our bag and show you guys what we got. All right, guys. So here's the bag. We have all of the Funko Pops and stuff we picked up inside. And let's go ahead and show you guys what we got. Let's go and show you guys everything we got. So this is the first Funko Pop we picked up. It's the Blacklight Bigfoot. Huge shout out to my friend that went over to the Funko HQ and actually got this one for us. All right, and so the next Funko Pop we got is another HQ exclusive that he brought over as well. And this one is the Gargoyle Boar from Harry Potter. All right, so again, huge shout out to Pops and Sons. The people over there are absolutely amazing. I have yet to go to their St. Petersburg store just because I haven't made it out, but I am gonna be going to Spookala this year in Tampa. And I think I might go ahead and stop at the Pops and Sons um store because i think it we deserve to show you guys the really cool store that they have to offer according to my friend they have some amazing deals and a huge selection of funko pops but yeah guys we have the pop candy line and this is the first time i actually see the pop candy lines in person but this one right here is the mummy from universal monsters and funny enough i don't have a mummy pop so it's cool that we got our little um mummy um figure and it comes with its own stand of course, it is shrink wrapped and the candies inside are edible. However, you guys know I am a collector, so I'm probably not going to eat from this line. If I ever see another pop candy line, we'll go ahead and we'll try it for you. Yeah, I know Bride of Frankenstein is the next one. Again, really cool. I actually do have the OG and it's actually the same mold and everything, guys. So it's just acrylic and they fill it up with candy. But if you do want to get these certain molds, like these older molds that you just can't get anymore, it's really nice to, to actually pick these up. The one and only Frankenstein, and this one's super cool because I feel like the green and black, like this pops out a lot more than the um, orange and white and the uh, black, uh, brown and, and uh, kind of like tannish color. But yeah, this is super cool. The Frankenstein, you see green and black. I mean, they, again, same mold and everything from the original. And yeah, it's just a really cool pop, guys. And I'm super excited to have these. All right, guys. And finally, um, we did get this um shirt to give away to you guys. So again, um, all you guys have to do to join uh, this giveaway. So all you guys have to do to join this giveaway is comment down below Palpatine Vader 24. If you guys comment that, I will know that you watched till the end and you are wanting to join this giveaway. So again, a free medium shirt will be giving away. If you do not fit in a medium, you can always check out the website. We'll be linking it down in the description below and you can buy your own shirt, but this one's really cool. They, it was a huge success at Fanboy Expo, and people absolutely loved it. And um, they actually sold out of a bunch of these uh, shirts right here. So again, the design's really cool. Make sure to go ahead and comment down below to join in on this giveaway. You must be 18 years older and in the United States. I just want to uh, clarify that really quickly. I will pay for the shipping myself. You don't have to worry about shipping. But yes, comment down Palpatine Vader 24 for this free t-shirt. I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll cover the shipping, and you guys can get this really cool um t-shirt for the campaign also guys one thing i do want to give a huge shout out to is that if you guys want to go ahead and purchase collectibles directly from us we are hosting weekly whatnot shows it is a platform where you can go ahead and join into different live shows or go to a marketplace and find funko pops this is probably one of the best places to buy collectibles and if you sign up using our link in the description below you get a free 15 dollars off your first purchase so Make sure if you guys have never signed up for whatnot and you want to go ahead and support me and purchase collectibles directly from me, make sure to sign up using the link in our description, guys. All right, guys, so I know this was a long video, but again, thank you all so much for watching this video. It's because of you guys showing your support and watching these videos, commenting, liking, sharing that we continue to create these really cool con videos. Again, we do have a really big announcement coming up, so please make sure, again, leave a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button and thank you all so much and we'll see you guys on the next one.